The Android Studio Editor appears in the center of the main window when the Java, Kotlin, XML, or other text-based file is selected for editing. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. The elements that comprise the editor window can be summarized as follows. The document tab. Android Studio is capable of holding multiple files open for editing at any one time. As each file is opened, it is assigned a document tab displaying the file name in the tab bar located along the top edge of the editor window. Switching between files is simply a matter of clicking on the corresponding tab or using the Alt left or Alt right keyboard shortcuts. So you can switch between the tabs, the document tabs simply. The editor gutter area. The gutter area is used by the editor to display informational icons and controls. Some typical items among others which appear in the gutter area are debugging breakpoint markers, controls to fold and unfold blocks of code, bookmarks, change markers, and line numbers. Code structure location. This bar is used to display the current position of the cursor as it relates to the overall structure of the code. For example, if I click here, then the main menu will display the main activity here is the last thing will be displayed here in this navigation hierarchy. If I click uh, on this method, on create method, you see now our cursor is on create method, which is a part of the main activity. So we, uh, our cursor now is on create method that it is inside the main activity class that it's uh, inside the hello world folder inside master coding folder inside com folder inside Java inside main SRC app and hello world folders. This is the hierarchy. So if I click back here, then the on create method will disappear from here and display for us that our cursor is inside the main activity. The editor area. This is the main area where the code is displayed, entered, and edited by the user. The validation and marker sidebar. Android Studio incorporates a feature referred to, uh, to as on-the-fly code analysis. What this essentially means is that as you are typing the code, the editor is analyzing the code to check for warnings and syntax error. The indicators at the top of the validation sidebar will update in real time to, un to indicate the number of errors and warnings found as code is added. Clicking on this indicator will display a pop-up containing a summary of the issues found with the code in the editor. Splitting the editor window. By default, the editor will display a single panel showing the content of the currently selected file, a particularly useful feature when working simultaneously with multiple source code files is the ability to split the editor into multiple paths. To split the editor 
right click on the file tab within the editor and select either the split, split vertically or split horizontally menu option. Split down, right. I will split right. Okay, you see how uh, I split it. Also, you can drag and uh, drag and uh, put like this. You can see how I split the code. Here is the design. If I'm working on the design, also I'm working on the main activity here. I can drag and drop. You can edit the the uh, the view of the code editor as you as needed. One of uh, of the most important uh, things that Android Studio will offer, and this uh, this is a very important feature, is the code completion. The Android Studio Editor has a considerable amount of built-in knowledge of Java programming syntax and the classes and methods that make up the Android SDK, also as well as Kotlin. So, as code is typed, the editor scans what is being typed and where appropriate makes the suggestions with regard to what might be needed to complete a statement of ref or reference. For example, if I type here string, so it will suggest for me a string. Okay. If I type an int, these are the basic uh, variables in, in Java. You can put alt, uh, control and the space in order to get this menu. Okay. Uh, other options, if I'm typing button, so it will appear here. So if you miss this menu, as I told you, control and the space in order to display this menu. Control plus space. Okay. Again, if I'm typing uh, anything like this, it will appear for us this menu. And we select or we press enter. Okay. I will repeat it. Text. If I press enter. So it will insert the text view and complete it. If none of the auto completion suggestions are correct, simply keep typing and the editor will continue to refine the suggestions where appropriate. Other features in, uh, for Android Studio is the code generation. In addition to completing code as it is typed, the editor can, under uh, certain conditions, also generate the code for you. The list of available code generation options can be accessed using the Alt insert in Windows or Command and N on Mac OS. Keyboard shortcut when the cursor is at the location in the file where the code is to be generated. For example, uh, if I need to generate the code, I will generate it here. Alt plus insert, and you can select a bunch of code generators for you. Later on, we will see the constructor to string, overriding methods, implementing methods, getters, setters, and a bunch of other generated uh, and uh, gener code generator uh, features inside uh, and options inside Android Studio Editor. So for testing, I will use the override methods. I will select here on stop method. I will select it and here the code will be generated directly for you. Okay. Despite you will, you will go and type protected void on stop super dot on stop. It will generate it for you. Okay. So this is for the code generation, I will put here code completion. This is used by a control and space and code generation is you is done by window plus insert. 
Other feature in Android Studio Editor is code folding. Once a source code file reaches a certain size, even the most carefully formatted and well-organized code can become overwhelming and difficult to navigate. Android Studio takes the view that it is not always necessary to have the content of every code block visible to at all the time. So if I need to fold this code, I will click on this and the onCreate method will be folded. If I need to unfold, I will click on this plus sign. So here it will tell us, it tells us that this method is from here to here and can be folded like this way. So you see guys, this is for from this method is from here to here. So this curly braces indicates the beginning of the method and this curly braces indicate the end of the method. So if uh, I need to fold this method, I need to click on this minus sign. If I need to unfold the method, I will click on plus sign. 